Welcome to the 2022 Stay Cub Draw, sponsored by Whataburger. Before we begin the action, uh, we're going to hear a message from Arizona Soccer Association CEO, John Ruzan. Hello, my name is John Ruzan, and I recently joined the Arizona Soccer Association as the Chief Executive Officer. We are thrilled to present the Stay Cub Draw live to you today. This competition has a long, wonderful tradition in our state the best versus the best. So many great players and teams have competed over the years in the Arizona State Cup on their way to the U.S. Youth Soccer Regional and National Championships. Fun fact, every single player on the U.S. Women's National Team that won the 2019 World Cup actually played in a State Cup. There are many pathways to the highest levels of competition, but there's nothing quite like the excitement of competing for a state championship. In a minute, we'll begin the draw, but first, I'd like to congratulate all of you watching coaches, administrators, players, parents, and especially the referees who make our game the most beautiful game. On behalf of the staff and the board of directors of the Arizona Soccer Association, welcome to the 2022 Arizona State Cup Draw. The moment has arrived. The biggest state tournament of the year. You know it's not going to be easy. It's going to take hard work and dedication, loyalty and devotion, perseverance and belief. All those training sessions, all those competitive advanced league matches, all those sacrifices that you have made have led to this moment. Tell me you haven't dreamed of scoring that last minute winner to bring home the cup. Tell me you haven't dreamed of making a miraculous save during a PK shootout. You said your team is ready. You said your team is committed. This is your moment. This is the 2022 Stay Cup draw. Before we begin the draw, let us remember how the seating works. Teams who participate in the Arizona Advanced Leagues are eligible to participate in State Cup. Those who are in the Arizona Premier League will already be seated according to how they finish during the season. Those teams outside Arizona Premier League, Arizona State League 1, Arizona State League 2, are currently waiting to be seated. Now let's begin the U12 girls bracket. All right, now for the 12U girls state cup draw. B. Nine. D. Nine. 
All right. C. Ten. A. Eight. D. Eleven. First up is A. FBFL Legend, FB Arizona, 2011 boys. They were the AFL 1 champions. That will be placed in pot 7. Next team is B. FBSL Legends FC Arizona 2010 Boys. They competed in ASL 2. Now we placed number 8. And that completes the 12U Boys State Cup groups.
Now, the Arizona State Cup is part of the U.S. Youth National Championship Series. State Cup champions get the opportunity to represent Arizona at regionals hosted in Boise, Idaho. At regionals, you will be competing against other state champions and for the opportunity to represent the West region in Orlando, Florida for the national championships. Now it is time to begin the U13 girls group. So the groups are already filled for U13 girls. Uh, the number, the number one seed was Arizona Soccer Club. O9 girls join it, who were the APL champions, who finished with a 10, 1, and 1 record. And all these teams here participated in the Arizona Premier League. So it is now time to start the U13 boys. Here we go, let's start the 13U Boys State Cup draw. First, we have B. And they will be going in seed seven. So they, they competed in ASL one. Next up, we have Team A. RSL AZ, Yuma, 09 Boys, Patina. And they will be going in spot six. And they were the ASL one champions. And last but certainly not least, we have Team C. Phoenix Rising, Desert Foothills, 09 Newberry. They were the ASL two champions. And they will go in spot eight. And that completes the 13, under 13 group. So we're now gonna take a quick break uh, from the State Cup draw to interview Arizona Soccer Association Technical Director, Chris Blundell. Thank you for being here today. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your role as technical director here at Arizona Soccer Association? Yeah, as technical director for the Arizona Soccer Association. Um, some of my responsibilities are coaching education, both teaching coaching courses for U.S. soccer as well as informal coaching, coming out to clubs to just speak about their rec programs and just try to help out with uh, their coaching needs. Uh, as well as running the Arizona ODP program. So can you talk a little bit about what's currently, uh, some current events that are happening with ODP as well as coaching education? Yeah, we've got um, a new cycle starting in August, the second weekend of August. We have our tryouts for ODP. Um, they're on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, they then go into pool training. Those dates are in uh, October, November, and December with the regional championships taking place here in Arizona, where the Arizona teams compete against the other states within our region, which is really exciting to, to, to be playing against these other states right here in Arizona. Uh, in regard to coaching education, uh, there's a number of courses that are open, grassroots courses that are available, uh, and you can 
uh, find those dates and locations on the ASA website. Thank you, Chris. Uh, right. Like we said, uh, check out those programs, the ODP program, as well as the coaching education resources that we have available for you all. Uh, and again, thank you so much, Chris. All right, thank you. So now we are ready to begin the under 14 girls group. And for the 14 year, 14 new girls age group. B. Yeah, RSL, AZ South, 08 girls Garcia. They competed in ASL one. Eight. And for the next one, we have A. RSL, AZ North, 08 girls Turner. They were the ASL one champions. Seven. And that concludes our group for the 14U girls. We'll now, we will now begin the U14 boys group. So for the 14U boys state cup draw, First up, we have Team C. Tucson Mountains SFC, Rayados AZ 2008 boys, and they are from ASL 2. And they will be seed 7. Okay, and the next team up, Team B. State 48 FC, 08 Black. They compete in ASL 1. And they will be seed 8. Okay, and the final team in the age group is going to be Team A. Grande Sports Academy, Bartha Academy, 08 boys, and they were the ASL 1 champions. And they will be seed number 9. And that will conclude the 14U boys, uh, group A and B.
The 15U girls steak cup do not need a draw. Before you is the bracket, and we're looking forward to this group advancing. Phoenix Premier, PRFC Scottsdale, CCV Stars, AZSC 07, and PRFC North Valley are going to have a great competition. Or you read those off. And next up is the 15U Boys Steak Cup draw. First, we have Team F. PRFC Scottsdale 07 Boys Denny. They, they competed in ASL 2. And they will be in seed number 11. All right, next up we have Team E. RSL Arizona South 07 Boys Marquette. And they competed in ASL 1. And they will be taking seed number 9. All right, moving forward here we have Team C. Grande Sports Academy, Barca Academy, 07. They competed in ASL 1. And we'll find out what seed they're taking. Number 7. All right. Next we have Team B. PSG Academy, Phoenix 07 Boys, Blue. They competed in ASL 1. And they are going to take seed 10. All right, next up is Team D. Phoenix Rising FC, West Valley, 07 Boys Sanchez. They competed in ASL 1. And they will be taking seed six. And taking seed number eight will be team A. CCV stars 07 boys, Peoria. They were the ASL one champions. So that completes the 15U uh, boys, boys group. So we see the groups led by FBSL, Tusos Academy, 07, Jonathan. Then you have the second seed, F FBSL, Spartans Academy, 07, Boys. And we have Group C, um, led by RSL, Arizona, Yuma, 07, Boys, Delgado. So that completes the 15U group ages. We would like to take this time to thank Whataburger for sponsoring the 2022 Steak Cup Draw. Whataburger has 31 locations across Arizona. Make sure to check one of them out next time you need a bite. So we will now begin the U16 girls bracket. For the 16U girls bracket, A. RSL AZ South 06 Girls Campbell. And they were the ASL 1 champions. 6. And that completes the under 16 girls stay cup groups. So we have the number one seed, CCV Stars 06 Girls. And then we have the second seed, which was Phoenix Premier FC 06 Black. And all these were from APL. So now we will move on to the 16U boys. A. 
And next up, we have the 16U boys draw. First up for this age group, we have Team B. FC Arizona 06 Sanchez. And they will have seed number eight. They competed in ASL one with a second place finish. Okay, we had a few technical difficulties, so we're gonna be restarting the draw for the 16U boys age group. All right, so for team number one, we have team A. Grande Sports Academy, Barca Academy, 06. They were the ASL one champions. And they will be seed number eight. Second team up is we have team a. We just drew A twice. <laughs> yeah, this group's messed up apparently. Okay, second team here in the group is going to be Team C. Phoenix Rising FC, West Valley 06 Boys, Valencia. They, were, they competed in ASL 1. And they will be seed number 7. Next team up is going to be Team D. RSL AZ South 06 Boys Milan. They competed in ASL 2. And they will be seed number 6. <laughs> supposed to be 9. Alright, they will be seed number 9. Okay, next up we have Team B. FC Arizona 06 Sanchez. And they will be seed number 10. They competed in ASL 1, second place finish. So that completes the group. Uh, so we have in group A, we have FC Arizona 06 Patel. They were the APL champions, finished with an 8-1 and 1 record. Uh, in the second seed, we have SC Del Sol, U16 06 Boys Academy 2. Uh, they competed in APL. And then we have the rest of the team as well. They, they, they competed in APL and that completes the 16U Boys State Cup.
So now it's so now it's time to watch some more goals. We are ready for the under 17 girls stay cup draw. All right, let's begin. First, we have team six. Oh, that's gonna be the seed that they're filling is seed six. And let's find out what team it's gonna be. Team B. So we have FBSL Arizona Storm FC 05 girls blue. And they competed in ASL 1. And finally we have team... Team A. Phoenix Rush 05 Rush Girls. Will be seed 5. And they were the ASL 1 champions. So that completes the groups. Uh, so as you can see, on the number one seed, we had Arizona Soccer Club, 05 Girl Johnson. They were the APL champions. On the second seed, we had CCB Stars, 05 Girls. They, um, they all competed in APL. And then we had RSL South, 05 Girls Wood, also from APL. Phoenix Rising FC as the third seed. Scottsdale, 05 Girls Brown. And, and there's Group A and Group B for 17 under 17 girls. So we are now going to begin the under 17 boys groups. For the 17 new boys brackets. Team B. We have FBSL Tuthos Academy 04. And they are going to be in spot 11. Oops. Team B was actually RSL AC Norris 05 Boys Tomic. All right, next one, we have Team A. We have CCB Stars 05 Boys. They were the ASL 1 champions. All right, and this is for Team A, and they are going in slot eight. All right, next one. We have Team C. RSL AZ South 05 Boys, Rivera. They were, they competed in ASL 2. And they will be in spot 10. All 
Next up, we have Team D. Arizona Arsenal Soccer Club 05 T01. They competed in ASL 2. And they will be competing at spot 9. And last, but certainly not least, we have E. SC Del Sol, under 17, 2005 Boys Academy 2. And they competed in ASL 2. And they will be at spot 7. So that completes the group for the 17U Boys Day Cup pre-draw. So in Group A, we have FBSL, Tussos Academy 05 JC. They were the APL champions. On the number two seed, we have Excel Soccer Academy 05. They were the runners up for the APL. For Group C, we have Grande Sports Academy 05. And then we have FC Arizona 05A Williams in Group A, FBSL Tucson Academy 05 RS in Group B, RSL AZ Southern AZ 05 Boys Haula in Group C. Again, this is the 17U Boys State Cup groups. We would like to take this time. Uh, soccer, soccer Loco is the place to go for all State Cup merchandise and apparel needs. Uh, scan the QR code you see display or visit our website to find all the merchandise that you might need for State Cup. We'll now go through an interview with Todd, Todd Thurgai. Uh, so talk a little bit about what it is that, that the, the referee association goes into um, these type of tournaments as well as regionals and nationals. Uh, you bet, great question. So we're really excited. You know, as John, our CEO mentioned, we have the best teams playing the best championships with the best competition. And we're looking to do the same with our referees. So we've been identifying referees over the course of the year through our advanced leagues and open league. Um, we'll be working with our signers to uh, send our invitations probably in the next week to our top referees. So as we have teams performing at the highest level, in the best competition. We'll also be bringing our referees that have been performing at the highest level to complement that competition in the state. So we're really excited about it. Awesome. Can you talk about some, some of the referees that have gone through past tournaments and how, how great of an experience it was for them? It's, fin it's fantastic. So we're fortunate we have different platforms in the state that complement both player development but also referee development. So as referees have advanced working our Open League matches to our Advanced League matches in the Regional or the Presidents Cup and State Cup, They've been able to go on to the regional championships. And each year, Arizona has always had representatives at the national championships. And from the national championships, we've also had referees advance to work in the professional leagues. So just like there's a player pathway, there's also a referee pathway, which is very complimentary to what we're doing here in the States. So we're very excited about it. That's amazing. If we want to have great tournaments, we have to have great referees. And we're excited to, to uh, be able to offer that to, to our players and, and as well as the referees here yeah. in the States. Yep, thank you, Hori. So now we will begin the under 18 or the under 18 girls group. So the 18U girls draw, it's actually already been completed. Uh, these were all APL teams, so they have already been seated accordingly. So we have AZ Arsenal 04 Teal. In the first seed, we have AZ Inferno 04 Girls Black in the second seed. So now we'll go on to the 19U Boys group. So next up we have the 18U Boys group. Uh, so we'll be completing the draw for this age division. First team up is we're going to have Team B. FBSL Tooth of Academy 04. And they competed in ASL 1. And they are going to be seed 7. Is that 18 your boys?
Okay, and for our next team up, we have team C. North Scottsdale Soccer Club, 04, Santa Sharks Red. They competed in ASL 2. And they will be seed five. And our final team of this age group is going to be Team A. FC Arizona 04 Franco. They competed in ASL 1 and tied in points for first. And they will be seed number six. So that completes the group. We have Group A uh, with the number one seed. We have Baratha Football Club, FC 04 Boys Black Martins. They competed in APL. In the second seed, we have AYSO United AVEV, Boys 04 Barracat, and they, and they had the Group B. We have RSL AZ South 04 Boys Bermuda, then Group A, East Valley NFC, 04 Boys Blue FC, and Group B. And that's the 18U Boys State Cup. All right, and let's get started with the 19U Girls State Cup draw. First, let's see here. Team A. We have AZ Arsenal 03 Teal. And Arsenal will be taking seed seven. All right, moving right along, we have Team B. Excel Soccer Academy, 03 Girls. And they will be Seed 4. All right, here we have Team E. RSOAZ North 0304 Girls Varela. And they will be in seed six. All right. Next up, we have Team C. Arizona Soccer Club, 0304 Girls Duhani. And they will have seed five. All right, next up, we have Team D. Phoenix Premier FC, 03 Girls Black. And they will be in seed three. So that means that the A seed is AZ Inferno 0304 Girls Black. And that completes the 19U Girls Group. Let us begin now the 19U Boys State Cup Group. And for 
the 19 new boys age group. F. Arizona Arsenal Soccer Club 03 Composite. He competed in ASL 1. 3. Next up, we have D. AYSL United. AZEV, Boys 2003, Bonarati. They competed in ASL 1. 9. Next up, we have C. Phoenix Premier FC 03 Boys Black. Eight. Next up, we have G. Finish Rising FC, Scottsdale, 03 Boys, Graham. Seven. Next one, we have A. FBSL, Dusos Academy 03. And they will be taking up spot four. Next up, we have B. CCV Stars 03 Boys PEO. And they will be taking slot five. E. Renegade Soccer Club, Bachukas. Six. All right, and that sums up our 19U age group. So the number one seed for Group A, we have East Valley NFC 03 Boys Blue. They were the APL champions. And then the number two seed on Group B, we have Grounded Barca Academy 03. They also competed in APL. That wraps up the, the stay cup draw. Uh, some closing statements now from our CEO, John Ruzan. Thank you for joining us today for the Arizona stay cup draw. We want to wish you all the best of luck in the stay cup competition, as well as best of luck to all of our competitors in the President's Cup. And we're looking forward to seeing you all out on the fields.